hey guys welcome back to my channel today i have a highlighted wig review so these highlights i did by myself if you guys were curious how i got them or if you're interested in doing highlights keep on watching i'm going to show you exactly what i did so this wig right here it's voluptuous y'all i really 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 like it it is short and the density is not as thick as some girls like it but i personally like thinner hair i mean i like it long but i think thinner looks more believable like i don't i do not need all of earth's forest on my head if you get what i'm saying anyways it came in this natural 1b color so i decided to do highlights because it was giving very much jada 1.0 and i needed jada 2.0 with a little bit of spice so i'm going in with some bleach some 40 and 30 developer um because i'm doing low lights and highlights it's giving kind of balayage but you can really call her whatever you want now i just picked out little pieces little strands to highlight and uh for the first session i did it three times the first session you know as you could see i just picked out some parts put bleach on it i didn't even put foil over it, y'all it was not it wasn't giving foil in the beginning because it was just the first step and with this step i used 40 developer now this is how it looked after i washed it out i went all the way to the top and it's it's not as highlighted that was the second time around second time around i did way more highlights and um i actually used foil around it so some parts are lighter than other parts so i separated the front piece of the hair as you can see when i'm done the two front pieces around that frames my face it's highlighted a lot of people do that because it just gives it gives what needs to be given if you if you get what i'm saying so if you don't like it then don't do it but it's for the girls who get it and i section that part out for that part specifically i added the bleach and i let it stay longer than usual and this is after the third bleach bleach session as you can see there is a big difference from the first time you could see the emphasis on the really lighter parts and the very low brown low light parts if you guys get what i'm saying um i didn't do too much and i didn't bring it too far up because i wanted to give it a more grown out look a very old highlighted look um so yeah and i was loving it. i did it all in one night it took me about two hours to do this it wasn't hard at all and the hair bleached lovely now after straightening it and then curling it this is how it looks um this hair actually curls really well and it straightens really well and after all of that is still soft I did wear this wig for about a week, so I can personally tell you that the hair was still soft after all of that. Maybe if I took it up a notch, it would have been crazy. Now, I'm going to put the wig on my head. I'm doing the ball cap because, as I said, I had it on for a minute, and I'm using this glue that TikTok says is amazing, but we're going to get into that in another video. So, you guys know how I normally slay my wigs. Um, it's pretty straightforward, but I just want to emphasize the hair and the hairline um i didn't really pluck this wig it came like this like i was focusing more on highlights than plucking so the company really knew what it was doing in the plucking department now i did have to cut a little bit more be uh, below the hairline because you know not every wig is gonna fit your face like nobody sits in a room and says okay we're gonna get a heart-shaped face and we're gonna get a big head and just build a wig around it and the hairline because you got to remember everyone's hairline is different some people got the, the 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 straight hairline some people got the rocky roads some people got a box we are all different so you got to kind of cut and customize the hairline to fit your head shape and your hairline shape as I always do, I put the glue on, press it in my comb. Don't worry about the white line. You might think, oh my god, it's too early. But I don't want the glue to dry out and then the lace doesn't stick. So halfway through, I stick it down, press it in with my comb. And then I'm going to take a headband and press that wig in. I meant lace. Press the lace in. <laughs>
Okay, now that I'm back, I'm gonna remove this. It's been sitting there for a good 10 minutes, so it's most definitely a part of my my hair follicles at this point. So now I'm gonna go in and cut, like I've been saying, cut a little bit below the hairline for wigs like this because as you can see on my forehead, it comes way too far out and my hairline is way too far back for this to even look realistic. So yeah, do your little thing and frame it to match your face. So you guys know that we must apply some edges, whether it be straight or curly hair. But for this one specifically, I've been loving the little trendy TikTok edges. And by that, I mean, you know, take a little bit of your hair on the temples, not in the middle. I hate y'all. Y'all, I hate when I see baby e edges that's in the center of the forehead and it has those little curly designs. Like, that's so unnatural. Unless it's on your natural hair, but like, the wigs, please, girls. Let's, let's, let's lower the edge count from seven to at least maybe four, three, two, two, if we can get there. I feel like it looks a little bit more natural because when we're doing our natural hair, it just looks that way. Anyways, I'm eating the girls up right now. Look, look at look at me. Just 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 giving like <laughs> I really never doubted myself ever. But um as you can see the glue did disappear like i know what i'm talking about um after a while because it dries clear it will dry clear now with the edges all i did was curl it with the flat iron like the tiktok girlies do and then i use a little bit of edge control on top and then lay it down with a scarf or one of those headbands to make sure it's tight and secure um the hair the highlights and everything as you can see the front two pieces that frame my face it's a little bit lighter than the other parts of the hair which is what i was going for so i do like this highlighted look now the wig does come in longer lengths remember it's a 13 by 6 so it looks a little bit more natural when it comes to the lace part i could have i could have flattened the wig a little bit more with my my flat comb my heat comb my press comb what's it called again i don't remember but i didn't do that but as you can see i love the hair i did wear this for a week y'all i didn't really get updated videos throughout the week so i'm sorry about that but i'm so happy that you guys watched this video and if you like it all details will be in the description box below i love when a wig bleaches nicely though this is brazilian so of course <laughs> 